Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back today. We're just covering a quick 10 minute tutorial. This should be probably take you five minutes max. But what we're gonna do is since our last video was Recon NG, I had a lot of questions about how to add API keys and what that entails and what exactly it is. So let's go ahead and cover it. If you guys like that, if you like this content, if you guys are enjoying it, hit that like button, hit that sub button. We are so close to 5K. We're at three point something and I'm super excited. So thank you guys so much and let's get right into it. So first things first, we gotta start up Recon NG, right? If I can type. Okay, and you saw all those errors, right? And it's blown up. That's why yours might look a little different. But you can see the one we're going to cover here is the Shodan API. Um, and that's just because I have an API key for Shodan that's pretty self or pretty easy. So we're going to say Shodan API. And you can see it says key not set. So Shodan underscore org module will likely fail at runtime. So what it tells you, here's a key. Not No pun intended, but here is it says keys add. See keys add. So that's what it's telling us we need to do is we need to add the key. So what we're going to go ahead and do is, and this is after, if you guys haven't seen the last video, check out the last Recon NG video if you need to know how to actually install modules. But basically all you do is marketplace install all, and it will install the modules. I'm not going to do it so I don't waste your guys' time. But let's go ahead and hop into it. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and look for that module. So we're going to say modules. And we're going to say search and we want Shodan underscore org. Okay, so that's the one we want to use right there is the recon companies multi Shodan underscore org. And the reason we're going to use that one specifically is because it told us that one will fail without an API key. So I want you guys to see how it works. So we'll say, okay, modules uh, load and we'll say recon companies multi showdan.org okay now we'll if we watch we'll say options list this will give us all the options we need so it already saved the source i want in there i want facebook.com and you can use whatever you want i just use companies like facebook we'll actually change it to try hack me so we'll say whoops options set and we'll try, do source try hack me.com Okay, so what this is, if you guys aren't familiar with Shodan.io, it doesn't matter. Shodan.io is just a website that actually scans the internet at all times and collects the information about vulnerabilities and stores them on the internet for people to find. It's a search engine for hackers is what it is essentially, but it's also used defensively and it's very much um, something that every defender should be looking into because you should be checking your company that you work for all the time on there to find out what other hackers are seeing. So it's actually a really good tool. Now, when you go on these companies sites or Twitter or any of this, you get an API key. You have to access it. Um, so you have to go into some, depending on the site, every site's different. Shodan's pretty easy. You just go to your account page and there's your API key. This is a key that is linked to your account so that when you run programs, you can have basically access to whatever the site does. So Twitter, for instance, you can have an API key tweet for you. You can have it, um, you know, do whatever you want. Shodan, we can have it actually do searches for us using the API key. And that's what we're going to do here. So we've got Shodan. Shodan.io, so we'll go to keys list, and you can see, here's our keys list. These are the ones that need keys, but don't have any. So this is the Shodan API that we're going to actually add. So basically what we wanna do, once we actually have the API key, which I have it copied here, so you guys don't see it, I'll blur it because obviously it's linked to my account, so I don't wanna do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say keys add, and we're going to just go to sh make sure you type it in right Shodan API. So depending on what you're going to use, virus tolls, another really big one that you should be using. Um, but you can see, we'll say sh keys, add Shodan API, and then we're going to actually copy it. And there you go. And it'll be blurred for you guys. Okay. And then you can see key Shodan API added. Okay. So now when we say keys list, there's our Shodan API. So you can see pretty qu quickly that it's actually already saved for us. So that's really nice. That's pretty cool. So now we just go here and we already have it. Okay, welcome back guys. Sorry about that. I actually had um, some issues. So you can see I'm having a lighting issue here, but that's not the point. Um, basically, long story short, what happened was I mistyped an L instead of an I in my API and that doesn't work. So 
I'll have you guys make sure you copy and paste directly the API key. Don't try and type it in because that thing, things like that can happen. And then you're sitting here making a video and it's not working. And so you have to stop the video re reset the API key and try again. So here we are, we're on regular recon NG. We've already added the API key. As you can see, if we go to keys list, it's right there. It'll be blurred on your guys' screen, but that's the, where you put the API key for yourself. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say modules. We're gonna say search. And we're gonna use Shodan, right? So we're gonna use the recon domains host Shodan, ho Shodan host names. Now the reason we're using this is because we're gonna use a website. We're just gonna use facebook.com. And we're going to look for host names. So what this tell what this will tell us is host name, meaning computer, servers, things like that, then names that they're using on their servers for Shodan, or I mean for Facebook.com. This will log in to Shodan for me and run the query for me. So I don't have to go to the website, log in, and actually do that. So what we'll do. And this saves all this, the um, keys list and all that for you. So if you enter all your API keys, you have to do it once and then you have this tool at, at hand. So what we'll do is we go ahead and say modules. We'll say load recon domains host Shodan host name. Okay. And then we'll say source or whoops, we'll say options set and we're going to set the source to facebook.com you can set it to whatever you want i just use facebook because it's a large company this is very public information i'm not doxing anybody i'm not getting crazy trust me everyone's seen this so you hit run and you're going to see it's going to take a second because what it's doing is it's actually logging in and checking now look at this so it's still loading but you can see these are actual host names of web servers or whatever they are for them. You saw an edge server. Those are um, uh, email servers and things like that. You can see the edge. These are all servers that have facebook.com in their name. And what I mean by that is it's actually going through and looking at the domain facebook.com and finding the servers that are assigned there or not all servers, just host names in general. So you can see the host itself is edge. Okay, cool, cool. They hear some synthetic. Uh, okay, awesome. So now, betaoculus.com, I bet you didn't even know that was a website that basically Facebook has in their domain name. So these are all good targets now. Now, if I was doing a pen test for Facebook, I now have a target list of public facing web servers, whether it's a edge client, so it's a, you know, whatever it's an email server whether it's a website that you can actually log into whether it's whatever i now have just broadened my attack surface to now give me a ton of more targets so that is why recon ng can be so powerful because when you start loading in api keys you can see you get more functionality so that is how you actually add an api key in and make it work now Keep in mind, Shodan.io is a very good one to have, but there's also Twitter, there's also um, GitHub, there's also all kinds of them on there that you can add the API keys in. So make sure you mess around with it, add your API keys, that's how you do it. Again, quick recap, you just go to keys, well, it's still loading them. So you just go to keys and you say add, and then you say whatever Shodan API, and then whatever API key you have, and boom, it'll add, and then you say keys list, and boom, there's your key, there's your API key that you just added. So make sure you check these out, add your API keys as needed, and then have fun with it. Be safe. And again, don't do anything that you shouldn't because this is just gonna get you in trouble. It's not worth it. You can make a ton of money in cyber doing it legally, doing it ethically. So keep to the ethics and keep to the legalities. Thanks, guys. Hope you guys have a great day.